Kayıt yapıyorlar Avni Bey. Bueno amigos, estamos con Agni Dirin, su entrenador Joel Díaz. Gracias por estos minutos. Sabemos que son ya momentos... Excuse me, I don't speak any Spanish. I only speak English. No, no, don't worry. I'm presenting to my people and I'm going to speak with English with you. Okay. Okay. Uh, gracias a Joel y a, y a Dirin por estar con nosotros. Thank you to Joel Díaz and Agni Dirin to be with us. And I'm going to start about uh, what... Are you doing this last day of the camp? What are you doing? How, how is the preparation going? Ee, ben de halkımı selamladıktan sonra ilk soruma geçmek istiyorum Avni Bey. Tekrar teşekkür ederim benimle konuşmayı kabul ettiğiniz için. Ee, bugün e, kampınızın son günü. E, neler yaptınız bugün? Son hazırlıklar nasıldı? E, biraz bahseder misiniz? It's not the last day of my camp. <laughs> It's the last week. It's the last week of preparation here. Uh, we're just basically going over the, the plan. Uh, we're basically just closing camp here towards the end of the week. We are adapting. We're getting ready to close camp. Just a few more sparring sessions and going over the the, the fight the fight plan and just focusing and sharpening them up. That's basically the last week of training before we head to Miami. Um. I will say that almost 98% of the people of the world will say that you're going to last, you're going to um, lost that fight. What do you say to these people that are doubting you that you can achieve something important in this fight? Şimdi neredeyse bu maçla ilgilenenlerin yüzde 98'i sizin kaybedeceğinizi düşünüyor. Sizden şüphe duyan bu insanlara sizin söyleyeceğiniz ne var? Yani, ya o zaman başım artık böyle durum bana. Ee, yani e, ne zaman Amerika'da maç yapsam hep aynı şey söylüyorlar. Ee, yani artık benim için çok fazla bir e, yani e, hani nasıl diyeyim e, çok kafama takmıyorum veya daha niye insanlar böyle şey hiç umurumda böyle değil. Çünkü biliyorlar. Çünkü e, tabii biz e, dışarıdan geliyoruz buraya. Bütün boksör olarak geliyoruz buraya. E, tabii ki kimsenin şey, şahsen öylesi e, normal e, ama e, son maçta da aynısını diyorlar diye ne söylüyorum. Yani ne? Yalan bu sefer aynısı olacak. So I really got used to these doubtful um, approach towards me. Whenever I go into a fight in the United States, it's always the same thing. So I really don't get affected much. And because... Um, Excuse me? I don't care what anyone says. You know? I really do not care whatever people say. Uh, uh, because um, you saw it in the last game too. And I think it's going to be the similar thing. It's going to be same to the last game. So I really got used to and I, do, I don't really care what people are saying. We are, we are always, we are always open to, to people's opinions and everybody's free, you know, free to express themselves and give themselves their opinions. I mean, we're in the sport, we're in the, we're in the fight game. And obviously people, people have their opinions and we respect that. I mean, whatever it is, if it's positive or negative, uh, we appreciate it. We need the positive and we need the negative. And that day, February 27th, we're going to have the negative and the positive watching the fight. So at the end of the day, we're going to do our thing. We're getting ready. Uh, we're preparing ourselves for a great fight. Obviously, uh, people, like he says, 98% of the people are doubting us. 98% of the people, all they know is Canel Alvarez. You know, they don't know Yildirim. Mean, that's why, you know, but, I mean, people will eventually get to know who Yildirim is after, after February 27th. Because right now, in the, in, in the mind of everybody, in the mind of the world of boxing, it's just Canel Alvarez. They're the only name, that's the only name that they know how to mention because, obviously, Canelo has earned that spot, right? But there's... There's fighters like Ami Yildirim, they work extremely hard, you know, to show and perform so that people can, people can look for them in the future and earn their respect. But for right now, that 98% of the people that doubting a Yildirim, we need them. We need them to, to watch the fight February 27th so they can see who Ami Yildirim is. Uh, Ami, when I spoke the last time with Joel, Joel told me, is it? 
is important, the physical part, but the mental part is also very important. And he wants to instill in you that mentality that you can win, that you can defeat Canelo Alvarez. Tell me about the mental work that you do. Mm-hmm. Şimdi e, Avni, en son ben e, Luis'le konuştuğum zaman beni duyabiliyor musunuz? Ha tamam. Konuştuğum zaman biliyorum yani fiziksel tarafı çok başka bu işin ama bir de mental tarafı var. E, bana şeyden bahsetti. Yani biz e, mental çalışma yapıyoruz ve hani sizin e, Alvarez'i yenebileceğini düşünüyor ve size bunu e, hani mental mental olarak size hazırlıyor. Siz nasıl kendinizi hazırlıyorsunuz? Çünkü biz de inanıyoruz. Bu mantaliteye nasıl geliyorsunuz? Hocam söylemiş hocam söylüyorum ben hocama inanıyorum sadece. So I really wouldn't like to topple over my coach. Um, if he said that I'm preparing him mentally, then it's it's I have nothing to say over this because it's uh, it's his responsibility to prepare me my job my job is to prepare my fighter obviously for uh for for fight for war whatever it is in front of him i mean i don't think there is a trainer in the sport of boxing that does not prepare his fighter mentally and physically right obviously you have to create that energy and that positive mentality that he can climb to the peak of the mountain regardless there's wildlife regardless there's loose rocks he can make it to the top of the mountain And this is a similar thing. You know, I cannot tell my fighter, oh, you, uh, you can't win this fight. Uh, there's no way. That is impossible for a trainer to say. You always got to have that positive energy in the mentality of a fighter that he can beat Canelo Alvarez. You know, you have to. It's part of the game. In a training, in, in a training um, uh, uh, event, in a, in a training camp, preparing a fighter for a fight, you have to prepare him. You have to, you have to inject that that energy and let him know that he is the best. He is the best. You got to prepare him for that because in that fight, that je- that energy, he's going to release it in there. He's going to walk in the, he's going to walk in that ring with that mentality that I am the best, you know, regardless of what happens. There's, I, I, the have, I have never, the best I have never, <laughs> I have never seen a trainer that will not prepare a fighter mentally. I mean, in that case, you don't belong in the sport because you always need to uh, have that anger in you, you know, that, mentality of, of, of a winner, a mentality of, of, of walking in the ring and being the man in control. And that's what I do with my fighters. I, I don't only prepare them physically. I prepare a mountain. We're going to war together. You know, regardless of what happens, I am, I am his general and he's my soldier. And he believes in his general. You know, that's the way it goes. Ali, last question. I know you have to keep going. Uh, Buster Douglas, Andy Ruiz, what it means to you If you shock the world and you beat Canelo, what it means to you? In your Why not? Why not? <laughs> you said if you shock the world and he interrupted saying, why not? <laughs> ah, why not? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, what it means to you? If, if they raise your hand, what, what, what do you will feel at this moment? Yani biliyorum e, gitmen lazım ama son bir sorum daha var. Şimdi günün sonunda senin kolunu kaldırdıklarında o maçın sonunda ne hissedeceksin? Senin için ne demek olacak bu? Bir anlatmaya çalışır mısın? Benim için e, bu işin e, hani maddi tarafı her zaman ikinci, üçüncü planda. Yani oradaki o gurur yani beni ömrümün sonuna kadar e, yani dünyanın en mutlu insanı yapacaktır. So if they tell the truth, the financial part gururu, of, of winning is sen, sen olabilme, şu an sen olabilme şansın var. Büyük bir durum. Evet. So um, the winning, about winning, the financial part is really the second or third priority for me. Like it, it's, it's not priority for me. But if you know, um, I get to win, probably I would be the happiest person in the world until the last breath of my life. Wow. I would be so proud and I'll feel the pride. That's speechless. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for this business and good luck to you, my friend. I hope to see you in Miami. Evet, çok teşekkür ederim. Çok 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 başarılar size. Miami'de görüşmek üzere. Thank you. Teşekkürler.